Thank you for the opportunity. What? Uh, cardiac CT is uh, mainly used to assess coronary anatomy, while it can also evaluate uh, cardiac function and perfusion. The assessment of myocardial region, fun region of function is usually performed by a subjective visual analysis. The ejection fraction for assessing global function is, uh, has limits, uh, limited values in detecting subtle changes in myocardial function. There is a need for a sensitive objective and quantitative parameter of regional and global myocardial function to complement the coronary uh, uh, arterial anatomy assessment. This parameter is strain. Myocardial strain is a measure of regional uh, deformation or change, and by definition, negative strain means shortening and positive strain means elongation. We have three components of uh, myocardial strain the radial longitudinal circumferential, the radial generally positive longitudinal circumferential is negative because of the shortening. CT is ideally suited for uh, three-dimensional uh, myocardial deformation analysis of strain because it's a true 3D uh, imaging method. It has high resolution of isometric voxels and has good contrast resolution of the blood pool. Other uh, methods for non-invasive uh, quantification of strain, myocardial strain, uh, is MRI tagging with its uh, disadvantages and uh, the more often used speckle tracking and choreography, uh, which doesn't give us any information about coronaries and is very operator uh, dependent. Recently, a PhD student in the Technion named uh, Yichiel Lamash, uh, during his thesis, developed um, an algorithm that uses cardiac CT uh, data to evaluate the mechanical function of the left ventricle. The algorithm is based on a deformable uh, LV model that contains both the myocardium and the blood pool regions and that accounts for the elasticity and the incompressibility of the myocardium. The feature used by the algorithm to follow the deformation and rotation of the myocardium include the endocardial edges, the trabecula, and papillary muscles. Okay, this is the algorithm. Um, wow. Thank you. I won't get into it uh, for this reason. We've memorized it. <laughs> the aims of this, uh, the study were uh, to evaluate the novel software that calculates three-dimensional regional myocardial deformation from CT uh, image data, compare regional strain with visual assessment by an expert from the CT, compare the global strain with ejection fraction also taken from the CT, and compare CT strain with uh, echo strain uh, speckle tracking. The reg uh, we retrospectively analyzed 100 consecutive patients who underwent cardiac CT using a retrospective helical protocol, which enabled us to evaluate the cardiac function. The CT performed, uh, was performed for various uh, indications, uh, mainly uh, angina. In a subset of 40 patients who underwent echo within 48 hours, uh, we, we calculated the, the echo strain uh, by a VVI software. The prototype strain software ran in a MATLAB-based environment. The software automatically calculates the regional three-dimensional strain components following a brief user interface. The results uh, were compared with visual evaluation by an expert. Uh, each segment was scored as normal, hypokinetic, or akinetic. The ejection fraction was calculated from the CT uh, by the sum of this, uh, this method. Each ventricle was divided into 16 segments and the global strain was calculated as the mean of all segmental strains. The input was, a, was an ECG-gated uh, four-dimensional uh, four data set of at least uh, 10 frames per second, uh, per cycle. The input is, uh, the data is in, put into the software. It, it creates an initial LV mesh and uh, then the user has to manually refine the edges of the myocardium, the epicard, and the uh, endocard. Then a 
final mesh is created. So looks something like this. Mm. Uh, out of 100 patients, uh, seven were discarded because of uh, poor endocardial tracking. Uh, the mean age was 63, 65 males and 28 females. Uh, 35 uh, patients uh, were post-MI, 15 of them were recent MIs. And, uh, and 36 or 40 percent almost uh, had significant dysfunction by visual uh, analysis. This is an example of a normal case. We see that the tracking of the myocardium is uh, very good and the, also the contraction is good. This is an example of uh, an abnormal uh, case. Uh, also, the tracking of the myocardium is very good. Um, but we see um, hypokinesis of the inferior posterior wall. So our result, this is the comparison uh, between segmental strain and the visual grading. There is significant difference in the quantitative strain result between the three visual grades, which are the normal, uh, hypokinetic, and, and akinetic. The, time of, uh, the timing of the maximum strain in the normal uh, cases is uh, in peak uh, systole, where in the akinetic uh, cases we see post-systolic shortening. This is an ROC curve, uh, which gives us the ability uh, to do, uh, of the di different strain components, the radial and circumferential, and longitudinal strain in, in the less uh, lesser result uh, to differentiate between normal and abnormal based on the visual uh, gradient. We ran a blank outcome plot of the CT versus the echo strain, which uh, shows us uh, a good agreement with uh, very little bias. Comparing the global strain uh, with the ejection fraction, there is very good correlation, especially in the circumferential component of the strain, and also the radial, and in a lesser degree in the longitudinal uh, component. So to summarize, the results indicate a good relation with the visual assessment of the left ventricle uh, segmental function. The global strain correlates moderately well with ejection fraction. The method performed well for uh, circumfer circumferential and radial strain, but only moderately for a uh, longitudinal strain. And the comparison with echo uh, strain uh, showed fair agreement with minimal bias, and the method shows promise as a clinical or uh, experimental tool when quantitative evaluation of the myocardial function uh, is needed. Thank you.